In March, we lauded Foot Locker as the company defied expectations, delivering strong growth. But that changed last week when the stock plunged 30% on subpar earnings. Excess inventory and lower sales hurt margins as management forecast same store sales declines across 2023. So why are financial pros suddenly so interested in Crocs, a stock that we rate at 9 out of 10? according to Trackstar, our proprietary sentiment indicator. Like Foot Locker, Crocs cratered on earnings last month, and they're down 25% since then. Yet Crocs expect sales growth of 11 to 14% for 2023, including some healthy same-store sales. Does this make Crocs a potential outlier investment? Crocs is a globally recognized footwear giant, known for its uniquely comfortable, versatile, if ugly foam clogs. Croc sells its products in 90 countries via retailers and online platforms. Its portfolio now includes sandals, boots, shoes, clothing, accessories and home goods and has diverse drivers of growth. Crocs continue to deliver solid revenue growth despite declining consumer spending and increasing competition. Its focus on profitable stores and e-commerce has paid off. Over five years, sales have tripled while net income jumped sixfold. Operating and profit margins exploded as costs as a percentage of revenue fell sharply. True, Crocs took on $2.5 billion of debt when it bought rival footwear brand Hey Dude in 2002. Yet when it comes to valuation, Crocs looks cheap with a PE ratio that's just under one third of Nike's and less than half of Decca Outdoors. Analysts expect Crocs to see revenue growth of around 24% this year, and when it comes to profitability, Crocs 50% plus gross margins and free cash flow margin of over 12% are tasty as well. Financial pros have found a great play. Crocs expects substantial revenue growth and trades at a compelling valuation. Investors push this stock down with the rest of retail. But as long as Crocs continues to deliver, this stock could be a huge winner on the other side of any recession.